What is going on guys? Nick here and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a subscriber recommendation and that is like a VHS rewind effect. And as you can see from the start of this video, the effect we're gonna be accomplishing today is kind of like a, a way to give your digital film an analog kind of look, give it a little bit of noise, a little bit of distortion, make it look a little bit like a VHS and obviously we can mix that in, make it look like a rewind effect. And it's kind of cool, we get to look at a few new tools in Fusion, so it should be pretty fun. So let's roll the intro and get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're going to drag a piece of footage down onto the timeline. So I've got this clip here of some dancers, super festive. Let's drag it onto the timeline and let's just get rid of the audio. So now we have this clip here. What we need to do is reverse it so that it is obviously playing backwards. So we're gonna have the clip selected, hit Command R or Control R if you're on a Windows, hit the little drop down arrow and just go reverse segment. So now this clip is playing backwards and let's just speed it up a bit. So again, drop down arrow, change speed and let's go 800%. Obviously you can select whichever amount you want, but that's going to play it in reverse 800% times the original speed. So now we've got our little clip there. And with the playhead over our clip, we're gonna jump across into Fusion. Now, before we do anything, let's grab the media in node and rename it. So function F2, and we just rename it dancing, whatever you want. So I feel like the first thing we need to create is our little rewind symbol, right? It's not super important, but it's gotta be done. So we're gonna drag a background node down, change it to white. And with the background node selected, we're gonna add a polygon. And we can place that into the viewer so we can see what we're doing. And all we need to do is with the polygon selected is click once, shift click. What that's gonna do is create a nice straight line and then roughly click in the center there and then click to close it out. And basically we can obviously reposition this just enough so that we got our symbol. Next with the background node selected, we're gonna add a transform node. And this is so that if we need to, we can move this independently because we're going to now copy. So control C and then control V to paste. Now that this is for our second arrow, what we're gonna do is grab the output of the transform node and connect it to the output of the other one. Doesn't matter what order you do this in, as long as you just do it. And let's chuck the merge node into viewer two. Now what we can do is grab one of the transform nodes. Again, doesn't really matter which one you select. And we're just going to offset it a little bit so that we have our little rewind symbol. Now we can grab our merge node drag it the output to the output of the dancing clip so that it merges together. And we're just gonna put our media out node into the viewer. So now we can see our rewind symbol. It was really easy to create. And what we're gonna do is select the merge one node. And what we're going to do is select the merge two node. And with that selected, we can reposition our arrows right up to the top here. And we can also resize them. So we'll shrink them down a little bit just so that they're nice up in the corner there. All right, so that's that bit done. Now we need to create the effect of the VHS effect, I guess we call it, right? With the damage and the interlaced lines and all that sort of stuff. And it's actually surprisingly easy to do. There's a really great effect built into Fusion that we're going to use. So with the dancing node selected, we're gonna hit shift space, type in analog. And here you can see we have the analog damage, all right? And we can see that it's effect by the magic wand. We're gonna add that to the clip. Now, nothing happens off the bat, and it's because the analog damage, if we select that node, you can see in the inspector, we have so many options here to control how the footage looks. And if we go through, say, the broadcast signal, and we can increase some of these, you can see we get some of this noise effect. We can obviously get chroma noise. There's a lot of different options in here, and we can go down. We can even give it a bit of a curvature, so give it a nice little bulbous effect, really kind of cool. What we're gonna start off with is we're gonna add some scan lines to it. So we're gonna go down to the scan line option and pretty much all we need to do is increase this until we get a sort of cool effect and we can change the frequency. And basically we're just gonna play around with this until we get sort of an effect that we're after. I think we boost that right to the top, change the line frequency and Something like that is pretty good. And if we play this through, you know, we've got that line. It's not animated or anything like that. And now let's do TV construction. We're going to add a bit of a bit of a curvature to it. So we're going to make it a little bit more bulbous. 
and we might even do a little bit of a defocus and phosphor brightness. So not too much, but basically this sort of fades the image a bit, makes it look a little bit older. So now we're gonna do this scan. And if we move the V shift, you'll notice that it kind of treats it almost like it's a film emulation in the sense that if we play this back, we've got this line there. Now we can, what we can do with this line is actually animate it so that it plays through the scene. And to do that, what we're gonna do is increase the V hold. And now you can see we get this little bit of a line coming through like so. And we can also boost the overscan so that what that will do is allow this line to just keep looping over and over. And now we've got that going through like so. Change the V scale a little bit as well so that it compresses it a bit more. So now I wanna add a little bit of a VHS effect to it. And they do this by sort of bending the bottom of the frame. So if I increase this a little bit, you can see we're gonna get this little bit of a little bit of a bend at the bottom. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset this to 0.2. And we're gonna move the height to somewhere like there. You can see where the line is coming through like so. And we can increase the jitter a bit too. That's just going to give us a little bit of an animation in the center of the frame here. Let's go to the broadcast signal, give it a bit of a chroma noise. We could really increase that, maybe give it a bit of a ghosting effect. Again, this is all just about playing around with these settings. And if we go back now to the editor, you know, we've just sort of fiddled around a bit. Now we have this really intense sort of rewind VHS effect. So now in the editor, if we play this back, you can see we've got this cool sort of effect. Now, if you find that those black bars are sort of coming through a bit too often, we can fix that. We just go back over here, have the analog damage selected. We can go back to the scan option. And basically what you wanna do is just lower the hold. And by doing that, it's just gonna slow down the speed of which it sort of goes up and down through the frame. But that's it guys, like this, this effect here, the analog damage, this is how I've created this effect. And you can see we get some really cool results with it. And the best part about it is you just play around with all these different settings to create, you know, the effect that you're after. We can also blend it a little bit. It's gonna give this this cool sort of like ghosting effect, which is kind of cool. And pretty much it's all just about creating the effect that you're after. So play around with those settings in your own time, guys. And well, there you guys have it, a VHS rewind, animation i guess you want to call it super cool effect and i guess if you want to spend more time delving into the tools that we looked at you can create some really interesting effects not just what we showed you today so i do recommend you guys all jump out and you know fiddle around with the settings and if you do create something make sure you tag me in it. i love seeing the stuff you guys come up with and also if if you enjoyed this video guys make sure you smash the thumbs up button hit that red subscribe button and until the next video See ya.